Please welcome to the Swimcast, Riley Martin. Hello, how are you, Mike? Thank you for being with us today. Sure, it's my pleasure. Uh, Riley, uh, could you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, first of all? Well, sure. My name is Riley Martin. I was born in 1946 in uh, the state of Mississippi, America. I moved across the river, my family did, uh, into northeastern Arkansas in the fall of that year. And uh, it was there near the banks of the St. Francis River in 1953 at the age of seven that I was visited and taken aboard an aerial ship that is not of this earth. They took me out to their mothership, which is located near the planet Saturn. They kept me for three days, returned me unharmed, and in good shape, well fed, and they say smelling of honeysuckle. And uh, since that time, these same extraterrestrials have visited me roughly every 11 years since that time, up until December 28, 1987, when they allowed me to remember all that I had learned from them for 35 years before that time. And so now this is, the, of course, the subject of my shows on uh, Sirius Satellite Radio, Howard 101 on Tuesday nights at midnight Eastern. And, uh, of course, now I'm talking to these guys, the Big Mike, on podcast. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're very glad to have you here. Um, Definitely. The reason you're... You're with our podcast is because you're going to be doing a, a voice on an upcoming episode of Squid Billies. And oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, uh, is this your first experience as a voice actor? Uh, well, actually, uh, over the years, I've done a few, few things here and there uh, in voiceovers for various things, uh, uh, commercials and what have you, and, uh, and uh, but... Uh, I'm just really starting to get into the business seriously. Uh, Turner Studios contacted me out of Atlanta and wanted me to uh, play one of the four horsemen uh, of the apocalypse in the uh, up, uh, one of the upcoming Squid Billy segments, which will air sometimes this spring. And, of course, they were satisfied with that. They recently contacted me and want to... Uh, hire me again to do uh, other characters and other voices, and I've been told uh, I'm quite uh, adept at doing various different voices and things like this. So, so it looks like that's going to be uh, a nice little sideline, so to speak. Yeah, uh, very yeah. Good. that'd be great. Yeah. John. Okay. Um, I guess the first question would be where, uh, when you were contacted by the uh, Turner Network, where did you uh, record out of? Uh, I went to a gentleman in northern Jersey that has a professional studio, and uh, we piped in from there. Uh, the work is exacting enough as to where uh, I cannot do it, say, via the phone or what have you, so I'll have to go into a studio and lay down professional tracks for order to do it, yeah. Well, did you get a chance to talk to uh, one of the voice actors named, uh, he goes by Unknown Henson or Stuart Baker? He voices no. the main character? Okay. We uh, were, uh, no, I talk, go ahead. Well, I talked to a couple of uh, uh, people there. Now, whether they are voiceover specialists themselves or just technicians, that I do not know. Okay. I suppose so. that in the future, if I started to do something extensive with them, ultimately I may travel to Atlanta for sessions or whatever. Ashley? Um... All right. Uh, we were wondering if you'd ever watched Adult Swim before. Del Flynn? Uh, Adult uh, Swim. Adult the, Swim. Uh, the the bro- oh, Adult. Oh, adult. Oh, 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 you mean Adult, the Adult uh, uh, cartoons and what have you? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Yeah, I have uh, on occasion, I'll flip over and check, see the Squid Billies. They have a, uh, a number of other cartoons there, but... Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's not, I don't spend a lot of time watching them, but uh, I think it's fun. I'm not a stick in the mud, you understand. <laughs> yes, uh, I yeah. think it's fun um, uh, doing interesting things like that. Mm-hmm. Which uh, is your favorite show on Adult Swim, what would you say? Uh, which did I listen to? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, what, what, 
Oh, well, I, uh, I, I went over and I, I listened, I saw the Squid Billy's, uh, uh, well, number 14, episode 14, and also episode 20, I think. They have, they changed them occasionally, and I kind of keep up with it because I'm kind of involved, uh, you know, with the production of that, and I just wanted to see what, how the characters were, you know. Mm-hmm. And can you tell us which of the horsemen you played? I play one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That, that's uh, kind of an interesting fit because your your message is one of uh, hope for Earth and not for destruction. Like, uh, like well, right. Or, well, you understand, people. This is a cartoon. Yes, sir. Right. You understand? Uh, uh, for instance, uh, for instance, uh, uh, other cartoons. Uh, of fighting interplanetary wars and things of this nature doesn't mean uh, that it's somehow going against any principle in order to do a cartoon, people. Do not get your cartoons mixed up with your lives. You understand? Now, if you want to listen to the Riley Martin show, then you can hear my message of the hope that I have for the world. And I did not claim to be Jim. I did not claim to be Jimmy Swaggart. Uh, you understand? A yes, Pat Robertson or anything like that. Um, that really takes care of the Squidbillies questions. Um, we <laughs> we followed your programs. Uh, we're yes. all pretty familiar with, uh, with with what you've talked about your experiences, and we we've got some questions about the experiences. Uh, my first one is: What does Tan's voice sound like? Tan. Tan. And so? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, tangent one. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I suppose uh, he sounds something like, Ted Martin, it is good to see you again. How have you been? Fairly well, I'm sure. You know, that's the way he talks. He talks real smooth. However, it is a telepathic language. It is not verbalized. Can you communicate telepathically with all the different races, with the the Yavians, the Scree, the Tarzissians, the Neptonians? Well... Now, otherwise, what is the question that you ask me? Do I communicate with all of them, or do I know who they are? Do Do you communicate with all of them telepathically, or do some of them have a verbal language? I have I have uh, communicated with uh, the Biavians. These are the ones I know better. Uh, the Dorians. These are obviously Caucasian. And uh, with the Targsitians, these are reptilians. Uh, Dorians, some Dorians can articulate, that is, talk like you and me, while most of them still, their basic language is uh, telepathy and what have you. The same is with the Tarsicians. Uh, they are telepaths. But I don't like them very much, the reptiles. You know what I mean? And I've communicated with, uh, of course, question the space beaver, and with uh, at least uh, one other uh, creature called Agenmom, a great octopi that they had there. Also, so, is is he anything like the the squid billies? A, a large talking. Well, now I mean, uh, maybe that's uh, coincidental. That twenty one years ago, I would have been writing about a talking octopi. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, that I saw aboard the great mother mothership. I think the squid business must have come many, many years after me, so maybe they're stealing my concept, right? <laughs> it could be. It, could it all be. comes full circle. Yeah, um, right. How, how long do your visits with the aliens last? You mentioned your first one lasted three days. Is that an average um, time length? First one, yeah. First one, three days. Second time, I measure seven days. Third time, I measure nine days. Though when I return, only three days have passed here. I base that upon the fact that I ate 27 meals, that I had nine bowel movements, that I slept nine sleep spans. You see what I mean? Uh, the third uh, visitation, uh, I believe, was somewhere in the range of about 12 hours, meaning that we did not go back to the mothership, but they were reawakening my memory and acquainting me with uh, uh, those, all of the information that they have been giving me. In the interim, interim, they gave me 
144,000 of the circular symbolic configurations of the symbols. This has been an Adult Swim Central production.